Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problems 39 in chapter 2. In this chapter, so or in this problem, first let's look at the keywords. So first the thing that tell us a car traveling. This one tell us initial velocity, right? There we need to take care about the unit kilometer per hour. We must convert it to meter per second. And then slows down, slows down, acceleration is negative. At a constant, this one tells you magnitude after the acceleration. Therefore, we can write it as negative 0.5 meter per second square there. And then uh, calculate the distance the car before it stops. So before it stops, tell us the final velocity is zero. So initial velocity tell you final velocity tell you ask you to find the displace distance or displacement because this car moves at a straight line, so the distance is just a displacement, right? The second one ask you the time it takes to stop. So time, this is the first one I want to ask. The third one ask you the distance it travels during the fifth and the the first and the fifth seconds. So now let's see how we can solve the problem. First one ask you the distance before it stops. So we must find the delta x. In this case, we find we have v1. We can list lower quantities. And there, we must convert the unit kilometer per hour to meter per second. And then we find we have v1, v2, and acceleration. Therefore, we can find the dx in this equation. Very quickly, it is 576 meter. And then the second one asks you for the time t. You can say we have the t1, t2, and acceleration. So, so quickly, we can get the time t is 48 seconds. The next one asks you the distance it travels during the first and the fifth second. That means we must find the displacement, right? Displacement at the first second. The first second is the t equals 1 minus t equals 0. The first second is the t equals 5 minus t equals 4 to 4. So now we can draw a VT graph to understand that. This is V, this is t. Now let's see, this is how it works, right? This is V1, V2 is 0, and the time t we get and the Displacement is just as the area under the net. So the fifth, the first second, so there is one second. So we want to find the displacement at this region. The fifth second is this part, right? So the fifth region is this part. This is a four. This is a five. Get it? So most easy way we can find the function x with the time t. Then we can find it easily. So with the time, with the function x with t. So we input the known quantities, the known quantity as parameters. V1 is given 24, acceleration is just a zero, negative 0 0.5. So we input the initial velocity at acceleration. We get a function displacement with time t. Therefore, we can find at the first second, so t equal to 1 at this, this x minus this one, right? So the displacement for this one is 23.75 meter. And then the distance at the fifth second. So we use t equal to 5 minus t equal to 4. This is 21.75 meter. Thank you.